Hi, my name is Alex with Dave Tech Tech Tutorials, and today we're going to be answering the question, what happens to my Confluence pages if I accidentally close my browser and or leave Confluence? In other words, where do my drafts go? If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel, drop a like if you get value out of this video, and if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know in the comment section below. And before we jump into today's video, I do want to let you know that this video and all of my Tuesday Confluence videos are sponsored by my good friends over at Gliffy. Gliffy makes an amazing diagramming software that allows you to capture simple things like mind maps all the way to very, very technical diagrams. If you haven't already, I really, really do recommend that you try out Gliffy, install them in your Confluence, and try out this amazing diagramming tool. This video and this entire series would not be possible without the great support from Gliffy, so do please go make sure you show your support and try out their application, try out a free trial, and the link is in the description below. Now, let's jump into the video. Okay, so we've all been here before. We've all been in the situation where we hit the create button and we start creating a page. Now, this page can be anything you want it to be. It doesn't have to be anything particular, but this is just going to be my amazing review of Gliffy. And I'm just gonna start making some notes, things I want to talk about. And something happens, you get called into a meeting or your internet goes away, whatever the reason may be, it really doesn't matter. But at the end of the day, you just lose it. You don't, you don't hit the publish button. Maybe you hit close, maybe you just close your browser, whatever it may be, you essentially just leave the page. And so what happens when we do this? What happens when we accidentally close our browser, lose the internet, we forget that we're doing something, and then we come back to Confluence, and all of a sudden we're like, uh-oh, where's it at? So you end up being back in Confluence, and you're like this, and you're like looking at your pick up where you left off, and it's not the overview, it's not the retro, because these are all your published pages. You can click on show more, looking through all these pages, nothing is here either, you go back and hit the create button, and uh-oh, this is a brand new page. And at this point, you're really probably starting to panic because this page was very, very important, and all of a sudden you can't find it. And so worry not, take a second here to breathe, and let me show you how easy it is to retrieve your drafts. Now you're gonna wanna do this again anytime that you fall victim of any of these situations, but look at how easy it is for you to find your drafts. First, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you're not, you're basically in the homepage. You, you don't wanna be anywhere in particular, you just, being from the homepage is gonna get you exactly where we need to go. Now, once you're here, you're gonna to wanna to come up to Recent. And so you can click on that, and then this is essentially where Confluence shows you all the pages you've worked on, whether it's today, last month, more than a month ago. But you'll notice that we're still missing our page that we were working on that we never got to save. So if you keep looking though, if you focus up here, you're gonna see we have all we have worked on, created by me, start and drafts. And guess what? Drafts is what you're gonna to wanna to click on. Now, before we click on drafts, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, I do recommend that you consider subscribing to the channel as we are trying to hit 10,000 subscribers before the end of summer. So not only is this video sponsored by our great friends at Gliffy, which you should also 100% give them a try, go to the Atlassian Marketplace, link is in the description below for you to try out Gliffy in your Confluence instance, but I also urge you to subscribe to this channel and help us hit our goal of 10,000 subscribers. Now let's go find that draft. Okay, so now that I click on drafts, you're going to notice that a lot of the drafts are gonna start popping up. So if you've ever been in the situation where you've lost one or many pages, they're all gonna start coming back. They're all gonna be found. And as you can see, I'm going pretty far back. I'm going as far back as December 26, 2021. Folks, this is when I started this channel was in 2021 of December. So this is going to really, really go back all the way in time. So any draft, any page that you never published, that you just hit the create button, maybe you started working on it, maybe you forgot about it, maybe again, your internet went out, whatever reason it is, as you can see here, these pages, Confluence has been remembering. And if you click on it, you're going to be able to go into it and essentially 
pick up right where you left off. So this is a really, really cool feature. And now you're going to want to hit the publish button in order to publish this page. And then it's going to show up and with the rest of your pages and so on and so forth. But that's how easy it is for you to recover your pages. So don't worry the next time that you accidentally close out a page and don't publish it, you're going to be able to retrieve your pages regardless of what state you left them in. So again, don't panic, don't freak out, don't start all over. I think that's probably the most important part is a lot of people were like, oh, I just wasted all that time, all that energy, all that effort, all that information. I just gotta start all over. And so that's not the case. The tricky part is just knowing where to look. But now that you watch this video, now that you smash the subscribe button, now that you smash that like button, you now know where to go find your drafts and confluence. And if you enjoyed this video, please do make sure you check out our official sponsor for this entire Confluence Tuesday videos. Our good friends over at Gliffy have done us the honor of sponsoring this entire series. So go show them some love, go show them the power of the internet, go try out Gliffy, link is in the description below, start a free trial and show them how awesome Gliffy is. And if you can, most importantly, leave them a review. Let other people know what you think of Gliffy. And if you enjoy using the number one diagramming tool in the Confluence Marketplace, then make sure that they know as well. So that's it for this video. If you made it this far and you didn't hit this subscribe button, now's your last chance to smash the subscribe button. Help us get to 10,000 subscribers. Help us hit our goals for the summer of Atlassian 2.0. And make sure you share this video with everybody you know, as the more people that view it, the better it is for everybody in the community. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next one. I love the chase and the hunt, and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want, and I always give it 100. Don't need